For three years she reigned supreme. From Chrissy to Mary Jo, Steffi was the National Centre's only queen. But today, a new chapter, a new name on a trophy which already heralds some of the game's greatest. Yana Novotna has passed her test, she's taken New South Wales and handled Steffi and a runch as best. Monica Sellis though was another matter, a two-fisted teenager whose grunt alone inspires sheer terror. Already the youngest French Open winner, she could become the youngest to win here as well. But these are the days on which anything can happen. The days on which champions are set apart from the rest. Find out who will take their place in history with the ladies final of the Ford Australian Open. The Ford Australian Open, proudly brought to you by Sharp, Fuji, Nilex, Sorbent and Kellogg Sustain. Hello, happy Australia Day. Welcome to the National Tennis Centre here in Melbourne. It's the most glorious day for this the ladies singles final. And what a contest it should be. Jana Novotna, who has been the surprise packet of this Ford Australian Open, her victory over Graf on Tuesday afternoon was quite magnificent. And then she's up against Monica Sellers, the girl who's promising to take the Queen of Tennis title away from Steffi Graf. And what about her semi-final against Mary Jo Fernandez? She escaped in the third set with 9-7. So the two memories Memorable matches from the women's events here at the Ford Australian Open have both been played by Novotna and Celis. Novotna against Graf, Celis up against Fernandez. Let's have a look at the centre court draw for McDonald's today. Ladies final, Jana Novotna, a surprising finalist against Monica Celis, the favourite. Followed by the men's double final, all American affair. Scott Davis and Davis, uh, David Pate against Patrick McEnroe and David Wheaton. And Scott Davis has got a very, very busy day because he's also in the mixed doubles final with Robin White. They're up against Jeremy Bates and Joe Jury. Well, everybody in the Grand Slam plays for the title, but the prize money is significant. 320,000 Australian dollars to the winner today. The runner-up, $160,000. I think at the start of this Ford Australian Open, nobody would have picked Jana Novotna to make the final. Let's see how she's made it through to the final two. Yana Novotna arrived to a hostile reception from Melbourne's Ann Minter. She took it though, 7-6, 6-2. Game, set and match for Novotna. Two sets for last. She then claimed Karen Quentrek, 2-2, two and, two, and Sean Stafford, 6-7, 6-1, 8-6. That set up a date with the Wimbledon finalist, Zena Garrison. Yana prevailed, 7-6, 6-4. It was an achievement, but nobody had toppled Steffi Graf at Flinders Park. Not till Jana decided to make her mark. 8-6 in the third. It assured a place in history, but still it wasn't enough. A French Open winner stood between her and the final. And even a rancher couldn't hold that ground for long. Jana pursuing a dream, 6-2. 6-4. And that will do it. Well, what a performance by Novotna. Garrison, Graf and Sanchez on her way to this final. I think everybody expected Monica Sellers to make the final. She was magnificent last year, just 17 years of age. She had a real scare, though, in the semis against Fernandez. It was a whirlwind yes, campaign. Two. Sabine Hack, victim number one, six love, six love. Game set a match, Sellers. Six love, six love. The cheers would continue for Monica as she handled Kathy Cavazazio's six one, six love. Then came and went Karen Schwent, 6-3, 6-1. Setting up match point. Game set for Sellers, 6-3, 6-1. Against Catherine Tombier, Monica should have expected a closer shave. But this wasn't to be. She lost just three games, 6-2, 6-1. Game, seven, seven, two sets to love, six, two, six, one. 
The quarterfinals couldn't slow her. She toppled Anka Huber, 6-3, 6-1. It's all over. Mary Jo Fernandez captured the only set, but along the way she proved what a fighter Monica really is. Sellers reaching the final 6 3, love 6, 9 7. So the scene is set, Monica Sellers against Jana Novotna. We know how much money they're playing for, we know we're playing for the title. They're also playing for a trophy that's had the greatest names in the sport written on it in the past. John Brady's in the stadium at the moment, and John, it seems to be a perfect day for what should be a wonderful match. Certainly is, Bruce, and you talk of the trophy, the Daphne Ackhurst Memorial Trophy. It contains names like Court and King, Corley, they're all there, and it's bathed in sunshine. That's the good news. The weather today, absolutely marvellous, as you suggested. The Bureau's got a few things in store for us. Hopefully they won't be around though for the ladies final. Let's take a look at the forecast Forecast, and it is for a chance of showers this afternoon. A fine day, partly cloudy, generally moderate west to southwesterly winds. The expected temperature 25 degrees and that's what it is now but down courtside it'll be a little warmer than that as we all know. The humidity 35 percent. Well it could be a hot day, it could be a test of strength. Novotna versus Sellers will be taking you into centre court after the break. Welcome back to the National Tennis Centre. Well, I get excited every time I walk up these stairs because they take me to centre court and you know you're going to see sport at its very best. Imagine the excitement today for Monica Sellers, just 17 years of age, playing in her first Ford Australian Open, and Jana Novotna, the girl that nobody gave a chance at the beginning of the tournament. Because in just a moment, the Czechoslovakian and the young girl from Yugoslavia will walk onto centre court. It's one of the great moments in sport for them, 
are commentators for this ladies singles final, Gary Wilkinson and Wendy Turnbull. Well, thank you, Bruce McAvaney. And as the players come onto court, Wendy, what a great day, what an atmosphere, a Grand Slam final. There's nothing like it. This is what it's all about. The players, uh, they want to get into a Grand Slam final. They want to win. And it's just, the atmosphere is incredible. The spectators, the, uh, the locker room beforehand, the people you practice with. And uh, it's something that, it's a goal for everybody. And I just can't believe it. I love the atmosphere here now. Jan and the Vokner just hiding behind the ball girl there uh, for the moment. And uh, people overlook, although this is her first Grand Slam final, the Grand Slam experience that she's had for, for still a young lady. Well, this is actually her 18th Grand Slam uh, championship, but it is her first final, and that's what could be the difference in this match. And uh, the best she's done before is the semi-finals at the French Open. Contrast of style. Uh, well, definitely, this, that's what's going to make this match interesting because Jana Novotna, a lot of patience in her game at the moment, and, uh, but she's an aggressive player. When she comes to that net, I don't think there's anyone better once she gets to that net. She reads the play very well when she's up there, plus she has the best volleys probably in uh, women's tennis. And Monica Sellers, on the other hand, plays from the baseline. Aggressive uh, ground strokes, hits the ball very hard, and... Uh, the problem that she'll have today, if Jana Dvotna comes to the net, Monica hasn't been lobbing at all. And if she just nails the ground strokes and uh, Jana starts reading them, the match could turn in Jana's favour. Will the court surface favour one or the other? I don't think so. Uh, they both play a lot on hard courts, and uh, which is similar to rebound ace. They both play very well on clay as well. So I, I don't see um, the surface actually favouring one over the other. The thing that makes me very curious about Jana Novotna and the dramatic success that she's had over the last 12 months her improvement and the, the wonderful game plan that she's come up with against Steffi Graf and others in this tournament is that now being coached by Hana, Hana was never able to evolve that game plan for herself. Well, that's what a lot of people are saying. Um, Hana evidently seemed to know what to do but couldn't do it herself and uh, Jana is able to, to do what Hana is evidently telling her and we can see Hana on the screen right there but uh, Jana Novotna being very patient. She's played a lot of matches in the past three weeks and uh, but both players are pretty tired at the moment but this is the match that they want to win and they'll just dig deep to do whatever they have to to win. They might be tired, but the adrenaline will be flowing as we look at our craft free profiles for the 1991 Ladies Championship here at Flinders Park. Jana Novotna, winner of four career titles, two of those here in Australia. She won in Adelaide in 1988 and the New South Wales Open just the week before last, beating Mary Jo Fernandez, Barbara Paulus, and Rancho Sanchez Vicario. Her other title victories have been at Strasbourg, that was in 1989, and at Albuquerque in the United States last year. Also a former finalist, of course, in the ladies' title up in Brisbane. Winner of the Wimbledon Doubles Championship twice, plus the French and Australian Open doubles titles. And her previous best Grand Slam singles performance was the semi-finals of the French last year. She has won the toss, by the way, in this match, and will receive. Well. That's going to put a bit of pressure on her opponent, Monica Sellers, because Monica doesn't like to serve first. She's 17 years of age, been a pro just under two years. She's won 10 tournament singles uh, titles, and of course the big one being the French Open last year, as well as the Virginia Slims Championships. Also won at Lipton, the US Hard Courts, Tampa, the Italian Open, German Open, the Virginia Slims of Los Angeles, the Virginia Slims of California, and in 1989, the only singles tournament she won that year, the Virginia Slims of Houston. But uh, a quarter finalist at Wimbledon and a third round at the US Open and the number one and uh, number two seed here. Number two in the world, Monica Sellis versus number twelve, Diana Novotna in her first Grand Slam final for the Australian Open Ladies Championship for 1991. Play about to get underway. Huge crowd here at Centre Court for this matchup. A contrast in styles, and as Wendy Turnbull said, it's that contrast in styles that's going to provide the key to this championship match. The umpire for the Ladies Singles Championship is Steve Winyard.
two minutes, please, ladies. Two minutes. One minute, ladies. One minute. This match is the best of three sets. First two tie break, final set advantage. Jana Novotna won the toss and chose to receive. Just having a few more practice serves. Novotna, you can see right of screen, removing the warm-up jacket. Time. Umpire Steve Winyard calling time, and we're about to go in this intriguing match. Well, Monica will have to start off serving a little bit better than she did the other day in her semi-finals because her serve let her down. Monica's uh, parents, Carol and uh, Esther, Gave them some anxious moments in the semi-final <laughs> against Mary Jo Fernandez. And I think they might have a few more anxious moments here this afternoon. Monica Sellis to serve. They've played Quiet, once please. before. And Jana Novotla was the winner on that occasion. 18 months ago, indoors in Zurich, but it was a very close match. Love 30. And the botanist's forehand also a weapon. They look like weapons too. Battery of uh, cameras, photographers all over the world here. A good tactic by Novotna to bring her opponent into the net because Monica isn't comfortable up at the net.
13 all. Well, that's the kind of game that Monica likes to play. Pounding her ground strokes, moving her opponent all over the court, wearing them down. And I don't think uh, Novotna will want to get into too many of those long rallies. She likes to be up there at the net. Thirty, forty. Silas so ready to serve. Novotna taking plenty of time as she always does. Maximum. Allowed twenty-five seconds and she utilizes it. game to open this championship match the decision to receive so paying dividends for Novotna That's the forecast maximum for the day, but I expect it's going to get uh, somewhat warmer, which means it's going to be very, very hot down in the centre court. Not uh, much of a breeze, in fact, none. But fortunately, time oh. low humidity today. First game to Jana Novotna and with her serve to follow. A chance to go two up here in the opening set of this match. John Barrett is at courtside. Jana Novotna well, right, serve. Gary. It is very, very hot down here. The thing that's impressed me at the moment is the patience of Novotna and the wish from Sellers to generate the pace. I think we can see already that Novotna is trying to draw the pace out of Sellers. We'll see how this develops. Love 15. Well, Novotna serving from the difficult end. It's bad for both players at the moment, the right and the left handers. Oh! That end will get worse for Monica Salas as the sun moves over. She doesn't move forward too well. <laughs> well, it was a well-struck um, groundy from Monica. But the ball was a little bit high. It gave her a chance to get in there. But once she gets in there, she nails those balls. We were talking about the match prior to the start, Wendy, and she has used it, but she'll need to do it a little more effectively. Monica's used the lob very little in this tournament. Even when she's played doubles, she's hardly lobbed, and uh, she evidently knows that 
Novotna's game is so strong at the net and she's waiting for those passing shots, she's going to have to mix in a few lobs. Yana Novotna, a very good service action. She gets extremely good knee bend. Nice ball toss. Gets her body weight moving up and into the ball. Two games to love. Thirty love. tactic of Novotna seems to be to play the drop shot. It's a very dangerous shot to, to play all the time. It has to be very accurate. Thirty fifteen. A, uh, a tired looking serve for this early point in the match. Forty fifteen. Both girls have played a lot of matches this week. They've both played doubles, Monica and Ann Smith. Lost to Mary Jo Fernandez and Patty Fendick in the semi-finals of the doubles yesterday in three sets. Game Sellers. So Monica Sellers is on the scoreboard, but it's Novotna with a broken hand. She needs two games to win. Novotna leads. Two games to one. That'll be interesting uh, to see this match develop at this stage. Jan and Avotma happy to uh, to stay back for the most part, particularly on the serve of Monica Sellers and trade uh, power strokes from the baseline. But on her own serve, of course, she'll be uh, serving and coming in behind getting to the net which is a forte 
and at the moment as John Barrett suggested I guess she's just trying to sap a little energy out of her opponent by staying back and trading those ground strokes then coming in with those uh, crafty little drop shots that she's been playing to, to force monitor to expend all of that energy rushing to the net time the wistful look on the face of that gentleman father of Mary Jo Fernandez he was out here of course for her semi-final match against Monica Sellers and at one point could see his daughter through almost to uh, another Australian Open Championship and it wasn't to be he left the centre court a drained man <laughs> but proud nonetheless Fifteen love. Monica will need to keep the balls away from Yana's forehand. Fifteen all. Seven sport coverage of the Australian Open finals. Going to 40 countries. Hannah's moved seats, I think. Thirty fifteen. Well, that is where Yana is so good. A very good serve. Very deep. Follows it into the net. And that was from the reverse angle camera. Oh! There's 40 countries taking the telecast. Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia both, of course. Oh. 40-15. And other countries as wide and varied as Venezuela. India, Ecuador, the United States, Indonesia, Ireland, UK, all over Europe. Forty, thirty. And Yana just not getting the body going forward when she hit that slice backhand. Sellers. It was a difficult volley. Had to get down very low for it, well below the height of the net.
deuce. That was a shot. Well, Monica trying to move her opponent all over the court, but instead it's Novotna disguising the slice backhand down the line. The other interesting thing on that second last point, Wendy, is that uh, Sellers was able to get out on the forehand side with one hand and reach the ball, but not able to do the same on the backhand side with the two hand. Deuce. When you play with double-handed backhands or double-handed forehands, you have to be in position so early to hit the shot correctly and uh, we've seen Monica hit quite a few one-handed forehands in this tournament so far, probably more than she normally does hit. Advantage Nevada. Novotna leads three games to one. Fifteen love. Monica's serving from the difficult end now, and it is going to get worse for the left-hander. Toss right into the sun. She's trying to adjust the ball toss now. Yana is coming in on behind the slice approach shot and this is where Yana is so good. She anticipates well at the net and has very good racket control and she knows that Salas doesn't like to lob. And it's Monica this time who comes into the net, surprises Novotna. And I've watched Monica play her last two doubles matches and she's been in a little, the net very little. So that was a surprise move. 40-15. Well, I don't know whether you can hear it on our FX microphone, but there's a helicopter overhead circling around and it's very, very distracting, very noisy for the players. Game set. Well, really a marvellous passing shot there. Perhaps Sellers now beginning to find a bit of confidence. 
Slovakia leads, three games to two. Helicopter pilot must have been tuned to our frequency because John Barrett's remarks have frightened him away. He's gone. Well, it, is, it is distracting, but Monica starting to get some uh, rhythm, I feel now. And able to disguise the forehand, the double-handed forehand up the line. But it was a very good move by Novotna. She can't stay on the baseline and keep rallying with her opponent. But the problem is she has to come in on some very good approach shots. Because Monica nails passing shots. Well, she loves to have a target, doesn't she? And uh, that's, that's the wonderful, the intriguing thing about this match. The forte for Novotna is to get to the net. The forte for Sellers Time. is to zing those passing shots right by her. Splendid view from inside the top of the stadium roof here at Flinders Park, the Centre Court Arena. Filled, not quite, but almost to, uh, to capacity. We've had 277,000 people attend these championships so far, not including the crowd here today. Surprise there. Love 15. The Carole and Esther have sat through quite a bit of tennis this past fortnight in singles and in doubles. And the nice thing is that you see them applaud Monica's opponent's good shots as well. Oh! Fifteen all. A little bit of kick on that second serve from Novotna. And it was difficult for Monica to get up there and hit the double-handed forehand. Fifteen thirty. Yana might be getting a little tight. She started off the match very good. A little anxious, do you think, to get to the net? Just uh, not picking the right approach shot. Net! First service. Forty. A real chance for Sellers. She had one break point on the Bottom's previous service game without being able to uh, to get square. But she's got a big chance this time. Now she steps away and makes Novotna wait. James Sellers. That's the break back for Monica Sellers. Three all. Three, Three games all. In the foreground, the previous shot, the world's press gathered here, and there are about 500 media representatives from all over the world, famous sports publications. The kit from France, Boston Globe. Fifteen 
Writers here from the London Evening Standard, from the Tennis Bulletin of Indonesia. Uh, it, it's amazing. A number of representatives from the varied publications, other, of course, uh, networks, ESPN from the United States, radio stations. Fifteen all. And, of course, a forest of photographers. Well, in the last six points, three times, she's pushed the uh, approach shot into the net. Novotna just very keen to get to the net instead of hitting the ball and then coming in behind it. She's just moving too quickly into her shot. Forty fifteen. Patience is what got Novotna to the stage. And she seems to have lost a little bit of that patience in the last couple of games. Forty, thirty. Second double four for Celis. She still has game point. Game Sellers. And for the first time, Sellers is ahead on the scoreboard by four games to four. Ball change, please. Sellers leads four games to three. Well, Monica Sellis has got the game that will frustrate the hell out of her opponent, and that's what's happening to Jana Novotna at the moment. As Wendy said, just losing a little patience. She's, the first few games she was prepared to stay back and uh, hit from the baseline and trade ground strokes and uh, at her leisure come in. But the opportunities weren't coming frequently enough for her. Now she's trying to force them, and uh, it's not quite working for her. Well, the problem is that Jana started off so well, and when that happens in a Grand Slam final, you start thinking, I'm playing well, I I'll, can win this. I'll do a bit more. And your concentration goes off somewhere else instead of focusing on each point. Time. Time. And Monica Sellis. Feeling a little happier now, I think. 4-3. And with uh, signs of impatience on the part of her opponent. That's the sort of thing that plays into her hands. Great crowd here again today. Biggest single day's attendance at these championships was the first Thursday, where they had nearly 21,000 people just for the one-day session. The Friday, Saturday of the first week had the biggest crowds with day and night sessions combined. The Friday had 31,000 people and the Saturday nearly 32,000. Those people that have been here or those people watching on uh, Seven Sport have been privileged to see some amazing tennis, particularly in the last uh, couple of days. First service. Well, Monica's certainly a thinker out there, but the 
return of serve was so deep just inside the baseline and that set up the drop shot for Monica always thinking out there And from the reverse angle, fairly good approach shot from the Votna. Reads the forehand up the line, and she has beautiful volleys at the net. Fourteen fifteen. Much higher percentage of first serves in play from Monica Sellers, which isn't surprising because she doesn't put a lot on her first serve. Very good tactics from Novotna. Kept slicing her backhand, trying to pull Sellers wide with the double-handed forehand, then waited for the right shot to come in with the backhand down the line. Bogner, that time to make the volley. Well, she certainly hit that backhand, but we'll be able to see that Monica puts a little bit of topspin on that backhand, pace and spin, and that brought the ball dipping over the net. Thirty low. I can't believe she overhit that. <laughs> well, in the past, Jana's been uh, hitting her approach shots into the net, so at least she's compensating for that, and uh, it's better to, to hit it out. Maybe the linesman will call it good. <laughs> When I played tennis with Jan Tyriak uh, in team tennis in the United States, he always told me, I don't care if you miss a ball as long as you hit it out. Never hit it into the net. Fourteen fifteen. You can never get a favourable call from the net, can you? There's always a chance from the linesman. <laughs> Watching it 
from the reverse angle. Novotin a very good reach up at that net. Game Sellers. Five games to four. Sellers leads. Five games to four. Jana Novotna was a little edgy yesterday in her double semi-final against Jill Hetherington and uh, Kathy Rinaldi. A few edgy people in that match, weren't there? <laughs> it was a very interesting encounter, which of course Novotna and Gigi Fernandez won in three sets. But it was a good sign, I think, because Novotna was getting over some nerves, um, perhaps getting rid of the nerves yesterday. She's had a marvellous tournament here. Yeah. Win, lose or draw today, Anna Novotna. She would rather win, naturally. People marvelled at the way she dispatched Steffi Graf. Time. Oh, Lorenzo Sanchez, Vicaria. The Yarra River flanking the National Tennis Centre. That's the view from the top of the Regent Hotel in Melbourne and the view from inside the stadium roof as the players walk to their respective ends to resume the battle. Five games to four sellers leading. Novotna to serve. Well, that's amazing stuff from Sellers because the ball was very low, below the height of the net. And she does amazing things when she gets there. Love 30. This ball's dropped short over the net as she gets there. It's almost as if she's got double jointed wrists. It's, it's a very difficult shot to play with a two hander, but somehow she manages to get the ball up and over and sharply angled at the same time. And hits it hard as well, <laughs> which is very difficult. This is a very difficult game for Novotna because she can't afford to lose her concentration here or make one silly mistake because then the set could be gone. Based on that crucial point. 30 -0. Well, coming in on the backhand down the line, it was a very good approach shot, close to the line, deep, and Monica didn't have much choice with her shots. Oh. 40 30. Tremendous tennis. Novotna retrieving. Sellers putting a lot of pace on those ground strokes. And she's making Novotna work for every point. A strangled cry escaped the lips of Jana Novotna in that last exchange. She is working hard for every point.
advantage Navarro. And she came back from left third with a hard serve there. Mentally a very tough third game, but she came through with a flying talent. Five games all. Well, pinpoint accuracy from Monica's ground strokes. Oh. Monica went for a little bit more with her first serve that time. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty to third double four two for Nevada. Hard to know where the crowd loyalties lie here. I guess, I suspect probably with Jana Novotna because she's been here more often and, uh, and played in doubles finals in Australia and won. Just missed. 30, 40. This certainly opens up the, uh, the first set for the taking for Novotna. If she can get this next point, get the break. attack this second serve if it's not deep enough. Game of Ocker, 6-5, leads, six games to five. I think when, you know, you might be right, I think Sellers in that uh, game suddenly decided she needed to go for a bit more on the serve. Uh, she's come up with the double fault, she's missed the first serves. Beforehand she was very successful when she got a first serve in play, but I felt uh, she felt the pressure of, the, of being 5-all and needed to get a little bit more on her first serve and uh, that double fault is going to be perhaps expensive for her. And a bit frustrated perhaps by the fact that she was 5-all and had Novotna love 30. That's true, yes. Let Novotna back into uh, her own service game. And having someone down 5-4 and love 30, that's uh, Time. a pretty good lead. Cloud cover drawing over the Melbourne sky, bringing some relief to uh, players and spectators alike. The Centre Court Stadium. Ideal conditions at the moment. It is warm, no doubt about that. 
25 plus degrees. No breeze. As I said, the crowd cover will be uh, welcome, certainly for Sellers, who's going to have to serve next time around uh, from the, uh, the southern end of the court. Love 15. choice about the shot there. Love 30. Almost came off. A lot of pressure in this match at the moment. The short ball from Novotna. Monica comes in, but Monica just staying in the centre of the court. It was a good uh, shot selection from Novotna. Just went for a little too much. And 15, 30. Needed to get that ball in play. Ball. Thirty old. Liana's taking her time, trying to keep her concentration level where she wants it to be. sure it was out and from here it certainly looked out. I have to agree with you Gary even on the replay it mm. looked as if it was out but uh, you have to play every ball
Seven games to five. 53 minutes. Second set. Celeste to serve. Celeste with the difficult task now. Set down, serving from the very difficult southern end for the left-hander. thing is, in that first set, Novotna won it. Salas didn't give it to her by committing unforced errors. Novotna took the play to her opponent, came up with the right shots. But we know that Celis is a fighter and she tries everything and that wasn't exactly a high percentage shot but a great one. Nice. 30-15. Celis this time when she hits that backhand up the line, follows it into the net. Gets the body weight going forward and is trying to be a little more aggressive. Ball. percentage shot it certainly wasn't on this occasion no to let uh, Novotna come into the net but then to come dangerous. up with this lob I don't think she meant it to be quite that good but when Salas is pushed she comes up with some amazing shots and she's making Jana Novotna work extremely hard out there and if this went to three sets I think it would have to favour Sellers, even though Sellers has played longer, harder matches. It's uh, Sellers is, I think, mentally tougher. Time. I love second set. So that's that amazing uh, point in that previous game. I don't know if you noticed, but I thought Novotna, when she went up for the smash, just seemed to come down a little awkwardly and she was a little slow to go to the chair on the change of ends. I did notice it and I couldn't tell what uh, happened to Hannah there. To Yana, I should say. Quiet, please. Thank you. Just as she 
stepped up to serve this, he just clutched at the top of her right thigh. Good call. 15 love. It seemed to me that she, when she was sitting down at the chair, she took a lot of time. She was very deliberate about lifting her right leg and flexing it. I think there is some slight injury there. Uh, I've been watching her through the glasses and it's been noticeable that she hardly seems to have exchanged any looks with Hannah. Very self -possessed. What is fascinating here is the discipline with which she's playing Jana because really her normal game is a little more aggressive than this but she knows she's got to keep the ball low and wide and short to Sellers with backspin, give her no pace which Sellers thrives on and she's doing it superbly. Well, the drop shot was well disguised and Sellers very slow to get to it and Novotna is able to disguise the drop shot with that backhand. Novotna using slice off the backhand side. Well, it's good to see that Sellers will come into the net when she has to in singles because she's certainly been in more at the net in this match than she has in her two previous doubles matches. 40, 30. Novotna committing unforced errors, 23 of them, to only Monica's 12. Applause there Monica's father for that uh, great approach shot winner from uh, Novotna. Well, Novotna has commit more, committed more unforced errors, but I'm sure we'd see that she's hit a lot more winners. Advantage Sellers. Oh. 
Dukes. Oh, she blew it there. She had the break point. She had the second serve. And more forced errors from Monica Sellers. 21 to Novotna's 11 because Novotna has been coming to the net more. Advantage Sellers. That cord put it out. The botanist serves also a big factor here in this match. The botanist sixty one per cent of the first serves in play, winning fifty six per cent of those points when it does go in. Oh, Aim the Sellers. One is the early break in the second set to Monica Sellers. Two love. Sellers leads, two games to love. Fifteen love. Gigi Fernandez on the right of your screen will be in the doubles final tomorrow with Jana Novotna. Fifteen. We'll see if uh, Yana does have a problem with the hip or the leg at all from this point. It doesn't appear so. for an out call on the baseline which he's not going to get no, I think we see this in replay it was very very close to the line but it was good as you can see on the replay I think whatever problem that uh, Novotna might have had is she's worked out Well, that was just great stuff because the Botner hit a very good approach shot, a very good volley up the line, but the cross court backhand from Sellers that was pressure. gesturing to uh, Hannah Mandlikova there and uh, she pointed to her right leg. Maybe she just wants the uh, strapping, do you think? Well, she does have uh, the right to call the trainer out if she has an injury and she can get it treated on change events as well, so if there's a problem. Time. Now, 
now for Jan Wagner, although the first set safely in her keeping by seven games to five. And just the one breakdown. When you look up at the scoreboard and it says 3-0, it, uh, it looks an awful steep hill, doesn't it? Well, the thing that uh, Novotna has to do in the second set is to keep it at one break. And Seats quickly, yeah, please. please. Thank you. That's what it is at the moment. Quiet, please. It does seem like an awfully big lead, three love, but she's, she holds serve here. It's only 3-1. She could possibly break back. Fifteen one. Monica Sellers will pass the two million dollar mark with her performance at this tournament. And she will also become, I think, the tenth highest prize money winner in women's tennis all time history, at the age of seventeen. Fifteen all. Best service. Thirty missed by the narrowest of possible margins. Next. First service. Watching it from the reverse angle once, you, once again. Novotna's forehand, she disguises so well, but uh, Monica's been keeping it away from that side. <laughs> 30, 40. Uh, the position she certainly didn't want to find herself in. Novotna once again just being very patient and then that forehand last time she went to Monica's backhand side this time to the forehand side advantage Novotna Full change, please. Break point there, which three would have been games disastrous. Would have put Tarsellas up four now.
And it's not surprising to see Jan and Novotna winning nine points at the net. It is a little surprising that Monica has been there and won four points. Love 30. I think Monica thought the ball was perhaps going to land out, but we'll be able to see on the reverse angle that the ball was clearly in. But it was a very strange shot to play. Oh! And Monica will need to be concentrating a little bit uh, better. and it was going to be hard to tell. That's that just, last point in replay. It was just amazing the way Monica played that last yeah. game. Very lax. I know Monica's got a plane to catch at 6 o'clock tonight, but <laughs> this championship is, of course, very important. As a former champion, Hannah Malakova knows only too well players put a lot of importance on Grand Slam championships. They're the ones they go down in the record books for. Time. Time. Satisfied with the, uh, the trend of events in this match. Certainly now that Novotna has uh, got the break back. Put the second set on an even keel. Already got the first set wrapped up, 7-5. And on course as a coach to guide uh, Novotna to her first Grand Slam singles championship. Quiet, please. Thank you. seems to me that Monica Seles is really rather tired. She made very little effort on the Novotna service game. And Novotna was serving from the other end, from our near end. And on her own service game, a very lethargic game. Hoping against hope that one ball would be called out that was in. And I think she's feeling the sun and the general heat. Love 30. Monica's had Love 30 on several games. And she's lost most of them. The last two games of uh, the first set on Novotna Surge serve, she had Love 30. Fifteen thirty.
30 all. Well, the pace from Novotna forcing the error from Sellers. Novotna creates a lot of pace off that forehand side. Forty, thirty. Improving the service percentages for Novotna, not only the percentage in, but the point one. Games on. Sellers not comfortable at the net at all, doesn't have very good anticipation up there. And here just hangs on the left side of the court, hoping that Novotna would go back up the line. She did play a one handed forehand volley. Well, she was forced into playing that uh, one handed forehand volley. It does surprise me that Monica has been coming into the net. Perhaps, as John Barrett said, she is feeling the heat. She's trying to shorten the points herself. Yeah. Advancing rapidly to the net. Well, if you're feeling the heat, then make your opponent do more work than you, and that's what she does in this point. Terrific angle, taking her opponent very wide. Skies on the uh, on the smash. It was an excellent idea for her to let the ball bounce. Yana not having a play at all. Well, Monica's a competitor. She dug deep to win the match, a semi-final match against Mary Jo Fernandez on Thursday, down match point. Dug it in deep, but she'd have struck oil. <laughs> I think Monica Sell is very irritated by the way Jan and the holding up service. play before w when she is ready to serve. Giving little petulant glances at her. Forty thirty. Once again, Monica's ready to serve. Yana taking her time, tailing off. Game Sellers. So 
Dallas leads, four games to three. And Monica's been very aggressive in this past game. The previous two games, Monica played in a very strange way. Actually, it seemed like she gave the two games almost to her opponent, but she knew she couldn't afford to uh, let Novotna have that one. But uh, when she gets the first serve in, that wide angle serve to the second court is very effective for her. Monica prefers to serve to the second court. She can slice, put that left hand to slice and pull her opponent wide. She doesn't serve as well to the juice court. Time. Well, Hannah Mandelikova has the advantage of uh, the peaked cap. Neither of the players on court are wearing a hat. Conditions are very, very warm. Energy sapping conditions. It is 31 degrees in Melbourne at the present time. And the court surface temperature is 50 degrees. sending messages home. Quiet, please. Thank you. Fifteen left. Interesting that as she left the chair, Novotna was spoken to by Steve Wynyard, the umpire, probably about holding up play when Celis is serving, I would suspect. Fifteen all. And interestingly enough, Steffi Graf was equally irritated. Time and again, Novotna was holding her up deliberately, one felt. Well, the same thing happened at the New South Wales Open. Correct, yes. Well, Monica doesn't usually question a lot of calls and I feel that that ball was a correct call and uh, Monica just perhaps feeling the tension out there. Was she allowed the calls to get under her skin to the point in the semi-final where it almost the match? It's very surprising because Monica is very fair when she uh, is out on the court. She's a popular player off the court as well. She's very bright. She knows uh, that she has to give and back to tennis, yes. Thirty, forty. Sometimes when you're tired and it's hot out there and just the tension, you let uh, a couple of little things bother you. Right point. Oh! And Sellers goes ahead. Game Sellers. The three in the second set. Sellers leads five games to three. Or well, perhaps the fact that the umpire said something to Yana on the change events might have upset her concentration a little bit, but uh, she'll have to play a little bit quicker between points now. Fifteen love. This is a little uncharacteristic of Novotna in that position. And in the f first set, Novotna committing a lot more unforced errors than Salas. Oh. They've both cut back in the second set.
15 all. Whilst she's been the dominant player at the net, as we see this again in replay, we haven't seen quite as much of it as we thought we might, Wendy. Well, Monica's shots are usually so deep. Unforced errors, and unforced errors, but twice she's played just a very careless, a very loose point here. Yana's concentration isn't what it should be at this stage. Thirty all. She caught. Monica off guard with that forehand down the line. The last two loose shots came from when she tried to hit the off forehand. Yes, good call. Yes, to that 40, I don't think Monica heard the call initially and she was busily appealing to Stephen Winyard, but the ball had in fact already been called out. Set point for Sellers. Game, second set, Sellers. Six games to three. through uh, this entire tournament but certainly through the quarters and semi-finals now here at the final we've had some uh, drama filled hard fought matches that have swung one way or the other on just a point just two points and we saw where Mary Jo Fernandez had uh, match points on Monica Sellis in the semi-final and uh, not able to snatch the victory now here in the final against Jan and the Botman who's played so splendidly in the championships to get past Steffi Graf and uh, Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. We've got another great one on our hands at a set all. Time. Crowd a buzz at centre court at Flinders Park in Melbourne. As I said, I'm not quite sure just where the crowd loyalties lay. Fractionally, I think, with Novotna, because she's been here so many times before. She's won two Seats the quickly, please. Thank you. But I think... Uh, Final set, Novotna to serve. ...the age of 20 is barracking for uh, Monica Sellers. <laughs> well, Monica is a very nice person. Quiet, please. Ready to play. She's a wonderful person. Thank you. One of the best interviews I've done in my life with her here a couple of days ago. Love. Monica has a great personality and I don't think it comes across as much on the court and that happens a lot with the players. I, I actually feel that the crowd is behind Yana. So they supported that. It's the first they struck in the match. 30 15. Game to welcome. Good confident game to open up the third set. A 
first game, final set. Novotna getting off to a very good start in the third set. And she gets the opportunity to come to the net and also reads the shot from her opponent. And I think it's actually in Novotna's favour that she's serving first in this uh, third and final set. Winner of four Grand Slam doubles titles. Jana Novotna. But uh, yet to win a singles Grand Slam, but then that applies to about 97.8% of players. Time. Confident stride of Jana Novotna. Coming back to the northern end of the court. And so it will be Sellers serving again from the end that gives her the most difficulty because of the, uh, the angle of the afternoon sun. Loves the penalty she's going to have to pay from time to time for forcing the player. Well, it was a surprise tactic that time because uh, she just came in on that serve hoping that she could get an easy point. points in Grand Slam finals. was out. Now there was no call from the uh, lady on that far baseline and the overall was made and made quickly by Stephen Winyard. 40 love. Well Yana wasn't at all happy but let's watch it on the replay. Oh it definitely looked out. Oh. Game yeah. sellers. One game. But I must say, I don't like the tendency that has seemed to be increasing with Sellers to query so many calls. She did it in a semi-final. And it'll make her very unpopular with everybody if she continues to do it. But on that occasion, she was right. Love. Semi finals of the French have been uh, Novotna's best Grand Slam performance to date. Well, Novotna's being much more aggressive with the forehand once again, but Monica unsuccessful with a one-handed attempt off the forehand. Well, it's interesting that Wendy should have uh, 
thought that there's a change of tactic here, and I think it's come because she's been having a lot of eye-to-eye -eye contact with Hannah Madlikova in the stand, who I think has probably told her to come in more. And the bleep has gone off for some obscure reason. I didn't see a bird swoop down, which sometimes sets it off. 30 all. Forty. Well, it was an excellent serve, pulling uh, Sellers wide, but Sellers got onto that one. Came up with the even better return. Game Sellers. Service break for Monica Sellers. Two games to one. Third at the side. Sellers leads. Two games to one. sign which Hana of course can't give. Hana nodded her head a few moments ago just encouraging Hana. Just waiting for the umpire to call time the battle will resume. Time. There it is. Back to the fray. Sell us ahead. She is one tough little cooking. Novotna now with uh, the pressure on her and you can hear the crowd getting right into it at this uh, stage we've had a complete change of uh, crew on the court and uh, one of our wheelchair umpires quiet leaves quiet leaves the you. ladies final which i think is great to see something wrong with that machine down there The error from Novotna. It was a terrific forcing shot from Sellers. Thirty fifteen. Monica Sellers has only played at Wimbledon twice, reaching the fourth round in 1989 and the quarterfinals last year. Now Sellers turns away. 
This little game going on. Game tennis. Ball change rules. Ball change. Sellers lead three games to one. Oh, a real outburst from the bottom. She's still talking to herself now. And now she's speaking in English, telling herself to move her feet. Thirty plenty of times and got out of it, but here she's break it down, down a break, and love thirty. And under pressure, played a pretty good point. Fifteen thirty. And right now, you see the forced errors, uh, unforced errors rather, very heavily against Jana Novotna's name. Four games to one. And right now, in the living rooms of the homes of Belgrade and every other city and town and hamlet of Yugoslavia, they are cheering for shots like that. Well, how many people can make shots like that? It wasn't a bad volley at all from Novotna, and she made the right move to cover the line but the cross court backhand was just too good and in Prague our telecast is going there as well they've bitten their nails down to their elbows and they're about to fall writhing in agony off the edge of their seats time Cloud cover moving overhead at the moment, but it's still a very hot day. 31 degrees, 50 degrees, the court surface temperature. But belying all of that, Monica Sellers, whom we've seen play so many tough matches and we've passed the opinion that she seemed to be tiring, is now on her toes. Two breaks up, 4 1 ahead, third set. Fifteen, love. Well, I think she's gone, Novotna. She signalled her 
manly care of change events, gesturing down to her legs as if to say, my legs have gone, or the pain in what we thought was a strained right leg might have be acute. And she seems now to need to go for quick winners. And she'll make a few, but I'm afraid there are going to be too many errors. 15 all. Watching it from the reverse angle. Once again, Novotna catching Salas off guard. 30-15. She has John Barrett observed in trying for too much. He's going to make more mistakes. Well, there was never any doubt that this ball was going in. Just a surprise move by Novotna that she didn't even attempt to hit it. And that could be just a little bit of nerves. Sellers leads five games to one. She's won only five points, Jana Nabotna, in the six games played in this final set. I should have said five points in the last five games. Oh. Thirty love. She moved pretty well there. Very good court coverage and good anticipation. Looking once again for the backhand cross court from Sellers. Forty fifteen. Well, she told herself a couple of games ago to start moving her feet, and on that last point, didn't move her feet at all. Forty thirty. Deuce. She did leave forty love. Two points here and the match could be gone. Well, you want to win as quickly as possible in these Grand Slam events. 
But it was a very good play by Novotna pulling Sellers wide on the double handed forehand side. Down, drag out brawl this game. Well, what do you have to do to win a point? It's good self defense from the Votner, but the final shot from Sellers just pinpoint accuracy. Advantage to Votner. Sellers wanting that particular shot called out as well, but the umpire didn't overrule. about that. Quiet please. Quiet please. Thank you. Advantage Sellers. Match point. Double fault. Gives Monica Sellers the chance to close it out right here for her second Grand Slam title. First set, she looked the stronger of the two. Whether or not she did uh, suffer some kind of the thigh muscle strain early in the match, we're not sure. But Monica Sellers would not be denied. We've seen that in the earlier matches she played in the tournament, certainly in the semi-final against Mary Jo Fernandez, and again today a set down, but coming back to win the second Grand Slam championship, her first Grand Slam title in Australia. Anna Mandlikova and Jana Novotna 150 feet apart but commiserating, communicating with each other but to no avail. The title belongs to Monica Sellis in three sets, 5-7, 6-3, 6-1.
Monica Sellers becomes the youngest winner of the Ladies Australian Open by defeating Jana Novotna 5 7 6 3 6 1 a match that lasted an hour and 56 minutes sell us the champion of the Ford Australian Open the Ford Australian Open proudly brought to you by Ford Coca-Cola McDonald's and Kraft and let's join Peter Landy in the presentation area Ladies and gentlemen, we've just seen a magnificent finish to two superb weeks of tournament play in the women's singles, and history has been made today in more ways than one. Monica Sellis has become the first Yugoslavian player to win the women's singles in the Australian Open, and at 17 years and nearly two months, is the youngest ever winner of the title, beating Margaret Smith, who won the first of her 11 times. Margaret won the first of her 11 crowns when she was the old age of 17 and a half. So two records broken here today. Ladies and gentlemen, for the official presentations to the winner and runner-up, it's my pleasure now to introduce to you the presidents of Tennis Australia, which you welcome, Mr Jeff Pollard. Your Excellencies, Ministers, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me also first of all congratulate both Monica and Jana, not just on the fine match that they played today, but the fine matches that they've played throughout the last fortnight that have enthralled us all. As Peter said, Monica's set a couple of records in being she was the youngest to win the French this century and now the youngest to win the Australian, but she is at the moment the only player, male or female, that currently holds two Grand Slam titles. So a double congratulations to you, Monica. I know uh, Jana may be a little disappointed today, but it's been uh, her first Grand Slam final, semi-final in the French just recently, some months ago, but now in the final of the Australian. She's been a great supporter of Australian tennis, having played tournaments in Brisbane and Sydney for a number of years, and I'm sure that uh, within, within a year or two, you'll win, go that final step and be a winner as well. I have an opportunity tomorrow to thank all the people associated with the Ford Australian Open. I'd just like to expe express a uh, welcome particularly to the Governor-General and the Governor who are with us today on this, of course, Australia Day. And uh, it's now my pleasure to invite the Chairman of Ford Australia, Mr Jack Nasser, to join me for the presentations. Microphone, the runner up from this year's Port Australian Open Women Singles to collect her prize. Would you welcome Jana Novotna? First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsor here, was the Ford Tennis Australia and the Kraft General Food for sponsoring this tournament. Thank you for that. <laughs> I also would like to thank uh, to my coach, Hannah Mandlikova. She is here with me. The 
she helped me and she convinced me that I can achieve this. Thank you. And I also would like to thank to all of you for the great support and for giving me something which I will never forget. Thank you. together for Monica Service. Not a koala, it's an Australian wombat. <laughs> and, there's, and there's also a replica for you to keep, permanent replica. First of all, I would like to thank all the people who came out to support me and I think all the players during the whole two weeks. And I think you're a, the greatest crowd wherever I've been, I've played, and you've just been great. I also want to thank all my supporters in the crowd. I think without you I couldn't have pulled off yesterday's match and today's match too. It's always good to have this kind of a crowd behind me. I wish I could take you every tournament I go. <laughs> I would also like to thank Ford for sponsoring the Australian Open for so many years and I hope they'll continue to do. Also I would like to thank Tennis Australia and Crab General Foods for sponsoring the Women's Tour. I think us, I mean, when we had a great year last year, we really, nobody knew who's going to win a Grand Slam and that was made the whole tour much more exciting and this year we were off to an even better start. I think we're just playing great, all of us. It's just very even feel now and I think could, we couldn't have asked for better things. I'd also like to thank the umpires, the wall kids, the wall girls. They were a great friend of mine this week. <laughs> I'd like to thank my parents who've been here with me a whole week putting up with me for the good and for the bad times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and I just really, I just want to say I enjoyed Australia. It was my first time coming here in the beginning. I said, oh, I, made, I wasn't sure if I want to come, but now that I'm here and I saw it, I just hardly can leave it and I'm going to come back next year. I'm going to play more tournaments in Australia and I hope to see you all back here next year and I hope I can do even better than this year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Congratulations. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the presentation for the women's singles of the Ford Australian Open. Tennis Australia. Hope you're enjoying today's play on Seven Summer of Tennis. Well, Wendy Turnbull, she won a lot of hearts again today. What an engaging character Monica is. Oh, she's a personality out there. She knows about women's tennis and uh, knows the right things to say. And it was just a superb match, but it was also nice listening to her talk and uh, if she thinks that she's going to do any better <laughs> at the Australian Open or in Australia next year, I don't know what she has to win to do that. Maybe a doubles and a mixed doubles, she's done everything else. It was an excellent final, it looked like being a great final until Monica dominated this final set. Well, Monica won nine out of the last ten games and that's when she started to dictate play because Novotna started off extremely well and uh, had Monica on the ropes. 
but it was a very close encounter and uh, a lot of unforced errors from Jana Novotna. 51 unforced errors to 22 from Monica and a lot of those came in the third, towards the end of the second set and the third set. And uh, But a very good match from both players. So there are the stats, Monica Sellers over Jana Novotna. Who did you select? Monica. At the beginning of the fortnight? At the beginning, I selected her <laughs> before the fortnight started. Well, I was one of the lucky ones that did as well, but uh, let's take a look now. We were put under the hammer about 10 days ago. All the commentators here for Seven Sport as to who we would select in the ladies' final. Let's see how we all went. My prediction for the women's singles at the Ford Australian Open, Monica Sellis. She's been three times lucky. She's never lost a match here. I'll stick with Stephanie. Many people believe Monica Sellers was the player of last year. I think she'll be the player of 1991 and start out by winning the women's singles of the Ford Australian Open. I think Monica Sellers is going to be the women's champion. She has exactly the right equipment to do it. For the women's singles, I think Monica Sellers will take out this year's title. US Open champion Gabriella Sabatini will win the women's final. There is no other player in the tournament. I'm faithful, I'm true blue. Steffi's won it three times, and I think Steffi's going to win it again. Women's singles, Monica Sellers. Young, tough, she's beaten them before, she'll beat them again. I know Monica Sellers is in top form, but I like Steffi Graf. She's won three on the trot, and I think she can win her fourth. Well, Steffi has the most amazing record here at the Australian Open, but I think Monica Sellers is in great touch, and she's my selection. Yes, she was my selection. I think six of the ten getting Monica Sellers correct. Winning the final today in an hour and 56 minutes. Lost the first set 5-7 and then stormed home 6-3, 6-1 to write a little piece of tennis history here at the National Tennis Centre.